Many of the social movements of today, civil rights, women's rights, gay rights, and environmentalism, grew out of the movements of the 60s. The groups that established these movements accomplished truly positive change for American society. But what few people will tell you is that most Americans during the 60s would rather have ignored these issues. Not only that, but the government was deeply suspicious of some of these social advocacy groups. Many protesters faced serious harassment and even persecution by local police forces, the FBI, and the CIA during the 60s. President Johnson ordered the FBI and CIA to spy on anti-war protesters, concerned that some of them might be communist agitators or agents of foreign interest. COINTELPRO was a series of covert and sometimes illegal projects conducted by the FBI aimed at surveying, infiltrating, discrediting, and disrupting domestic political organizations. To put it in simple terms, the FBI was in the business of smearing people that didn't agree with the government's political agenda. President Johnson requested that the CIA begin its own investigation into domestic dissenters in an attempt to expose possible foreign influences, named Operation Chaos, independent of the FBI's ongoing COINTELPRO operations. Operation Merrimack and Resistance were further added under the chaos umbrella, spying on peace groups, black activists, campus radicals, and student groups. A majority of Americans disapproved of many social change movements when they emerged. All of the protest movements of the 1960s captured public attention and raised questions that were important to the nation. In an often confrontational manner, movement activists asked difficult questions that many Americans would have honestly rather ignored. But it's freedom of expression and freedom of assembly that makes America what it is, a marketplace of ideas. Thank you.